don't teach what, you what the oppressor taught. I ain't teaching right. nothing. You, fact, I ain't trying to teach. I ain't trying to teach. See how old men were listening? How old men are little kids in the head, bruh? I know you mean name? well. What's your name, sir? I will talk to you because you said is this right here what we doing? Or are we supposed to be doing this? Did the apostles do what we doing today? Let me see. Can I remember? Well, I really know what you're doing. That's why I'm worried right. about you. Okay, well, we're doing. We're gonna read. You would. Uh, all this. you. All you trying to do is describe it knowledge of the Bible okay. when the Bible declares that you're supposed to lift up Jesus and talk about him. And do what? Lift Jesus up. And do what though? Lift him. Lift him up how? Talk about how, how what he's done in okay. your life. Watch this. Give him glory now, and honor. Now, but just to the now scripture, watch, scripture, that's not lifting now up. Now let's up. see what the Bible said. Jesus wrote what we've been to read. And show him that it's written in red so he'll see. We're going to read this right, right here. Read it, read, read it, read it, read it. Now, he said, read it. talk about Jesus on what he did for us. That's what we about to do. Go ahead. Yeah, you're Luke, about to do chapter it. chapter 14, verse 23. Because read Christ out. wrote this for us to read it, and he told us what to do with it. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto the servant. Who said it? The Lord said unto the servant. He said it to the servants of God, and that is who we are. Go ahead. Go out into the highways. No. Go out into the highways. Go out into the highways. Ain't that where we at? And do what? Ain't this a big old business and street? Do what? Go ahead. And hedges. Uh-huh. And compel them. And do what? Compel them. Meaning yell. Make them come into what? To come in. Oh. That my house may be filled. So we not oh. in the house yet. Yeah, so but what, out in the what is the, but what is the way? The house. What, is, what is the so way? Did you understand that? Just to walk you in see, the house is not what he's talking said about. To compel you, them you. to come into the house, so we ain't in the house. Because God said we're gonna teach our people sir, in the streets, sir, and that's sir, what we're if doing. If you are going to follow, if, if you're gonna follow by biblical principles, uh -huh. it says go into the world and share the gospel. And what's the gospel? Proverbs four two. Let's see what the gospel is according to the Bible. Y'all ain't in no Bible study. Y'all you know? been listening to somebody no, talk. No, we been you the Bible. Study. You, you study. teach what, you what the oppressor taught. I ain't teaching right. nothing. You, matter of fact, I ain't trying to teach. I ain't trying to teach. I, I got a question for you, I, sir. I'm trying to help y'all wake up. I got a question for you. Y'all got a good Who's video. This? Who's this? Y'all got, I don't know who that is. Who's this? I don't know who that is. Who's that? I don't know who that is. All right. So now, what does Jesus look like? I don't know. But we're going to uplift someone we don't know. Right now. How do you uplift someone you don't know? Because it didn't tell me. You see how this is it, crazy? It didn't tell how me. do you uplift it did not some, tell me what he looked like not, in the Bible? The Bible did not tell me what he to talk like. about how he looks, huh? what he dressed. Uh, it talked. Uh, 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 go to John 7, 38. Bring it out. It, it, Watch it told the Bible me. speak. It told me. Let's see what the Bible said about what he looked me. like. Watch this, sir. It told me to you publish the what Bible he did. Dude, listen. What he did you see how old men what were listening to How old men what are little did kids me. in the head, bruh. They won't even hear the Bible when we're reading the scripture. He said the Bible don't tell us to talk about what he looked like, to lift that up. We're going to read what Jesus they ain't said. Lifting up do Jesus. That. Go ahead. They ain't John up chapter 7, verse 38. That's you know. what Jesus said is written in red. He that believeth on me. On Jesus. As the scripture had said. No, you make said. it up. As the scripture has yeah. said, you make up what he looked like. As the scripture has said, you make up what he taught. As the scripture has said, it must be according to what the Bible say. Go ahead. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Because if you teach what Christ looked like and what he taught, because all of that is written in the Bible, you have living water coming out of you. Right. So that would mean... What our people are mostly teaching, you're dead. Right. Man. You're right. dead according I'm to God. Right. Revelation chapter 1, I'm verse 14. Let's see what God, what Christ looked like. Because he said it don't matter. And he says that we ain't got to teach it because it ain't in there. Here we go. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. I like verse 3. Read verse 3. I like that. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that reads. Right. So we ain't going to make it up if you read it. Right.
Right. Because you're going to say what was read. Right. right. Versus, go ahead. Go ahead. if you do it go on ahead. your own, I'm, I'm, you ain't read it, got there. Here we go. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And you have to hear the words right. of this prophecy. Okay. Uh -huh. And keep those things which are written and there. you have to keep the that's things right. that are read. Let's see what one of the prophecies is. Read verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Christ said, her just like you. As white as snow. It looked just like yours. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was red because he drank wine. And his feet. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. It was brass. Brown. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. He was so dark, he looked burned in a furnace. Now, he said, we're not doing what Christ said. Read the very next part. Let's see how Christ spoke. And his voice and the sound of many waters. No, nope, no, nope, he was a very quiet Millie Mouse man. His voice and the sound of many waters. He was a he was a quiet white man. His voice and the sound of many waters. He was a loud black man. That's right. And that's what we doing. Right. And you tell us we're not doing it. No, and then you're you not. say we're evil, but the Bible, Bible says. All right, hey, let's go by the word. One of the questions I'm addressing as you were speaking. Go to Titus 2.15. I, I I, I, I'm in a full agreement with being bold, you know, rejoicing, being bold, being heard for the masses, north, south, east, and west. My objection is not being, not talking loud, is yelling. Why are you yelling at me? All right. Why are you yelling at me? Okay. I re so, it's repulsive for you to yell at me. All right, so I'm now I will say this. You're standing directly in front of the speaker. If you slide over, it's a little bit quieter when the bus moves. But if you slide over, it'll be a lot better for where you're standing. But we yell. We're not yelling at you. Right. We're yelling so others can hear us. Right. It's but, it's, but to yell at you, no one's like, <laughs> it's just about you. This is about everyone in earshot. Right. So it's not that we're yelling at you. We're yelling because the Bible said to yell. Right. It said to yell. Right. So when our people say it's about how you're saying it, not what you say. That is false. You, now the person that gave us authority, I'm gonna read that too. Would you reread what says to yell? All praises. Or? Yes, yes we will. Read it. I say it, chapter 58, verse 1. Bring it cry aloud. Spare not. It said, cry aloud. Do not, not spur yell. their feelings. That's what it said. Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. We have to be as loud as a trumpet. Right. That's what the Bible just says. So if I say we don't have to do that, that means I'm not going with the Bible. Right. Go ahead. And show my people their transgression. And that's what happens. When we tell our people where they're wrong, they feel like it's at them in a negative way. No, it's to save your life. Right. Because we're trying to save our people's lives. Because we are in Charleston, right. where this city has more Christian churches in it than on any square block than any city in the world. Bring it out. That's not right. just not just in America. Right. There's more churches here per square block than the world. Right. So, meaning, if this was New York, it wouldn't even compare to how many churches is in New York today. If you took Charleston and made it as big as New York. So, what is your point with that? Oh, praise! It is because Christian churches are slave doctrines. Right. Watch, what day are we supposed to go to church? I don't, I don't According to the Bible. Every day, every day, the Bible says go to church every day. Okay, the Bible says go to church on the Sabbath day. Every day is the Sabbath day. So. No, it's, it, okay, every day is watch, Sabbath day. on the Sabbath day, what can we not do and what should we do on those days? I this is how we know it's not every day, because today I'm not supposed to buy and shop. That would mean I would never be able to buy food. I don't see them so today I don't buy anything. So therefore, I don't buy my food. Today I cannot cook. Today I cannot cook. But we have the most cookouts on Saturday. It's the seventh day of the week when God said, don't do that. So then if we have to cook food or buy anything, if it's every day, that means we starve to death. So that would mean that every day cannot be the Sabbath. Okay, I'm a, I disagree with that. Can we just move okay, on? Well, okay, well, okay, here we go. We're going to read. Sir, sir, I got. I want to read the what, first question, what, though. What I want to know is, on the day that is not the Sabbath day, what do y'all, what do y'all as a church? What do we do? What do y'all do for the people? All praises to the Most High. Other than, on the day that's not the Sabbath day, that require you as you What do we say. do? I got you. I got you. What Let's go to, so we're going to read Titus 2.15, and then we're going to go to that. Go ahead. Titus chapter 2. Verse 15, you know. these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. 
That's what we were told to do. God gave us that authority. Rebuke mean correct people. So all the lies they have, correct them on them. Tell them what the Bible says. Is that it on the verse? Go ahead. Let no man despise thee. No one is going to stop us from doing so. We got our authority from God. Right. Right. Not from no man on the planet. So that's what we did. Now, she said, what do we do for the people on any day of the week? Give me Jeremiah. Shoot, 315 once again. Bring it out. Jeremiah 315 once again. Watch this. Here we go. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. So God said he will give the people of Israel pastors according to what he say. Not according to what the world says, but according to the Bible. Go ahead. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. What are we going to do with the people? Do what? Feed you with knowledge and understanding. So we teach all day, every day. That's right. That's what we're supposed to do. Right. Now, what is the knowledge and understanding we're supposed to teach the people? Malachi 2 and 7 again. Here we go. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Bring it out. But a priest lips should keep knowledge. So as a teacher, if anybody takes the position of a teacher, they are setting themselves up as a priest. A priest. It says, so the priest should teach knowledge. Now it's going to tell us what that knowledge is. Go ahead. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. So what should the people get from the teacher? The law at his mouth. We teach our people the laws of God. Because the laws of God is thou shall not commit adultery. So you get, you know what we teach in our congregation? Marriage. Right. I'm married to one wife. I have children and I provide and take care of that one woman and my kids. I am not allowed not to work. You know why? Let's get that in uh, Timothy's. Second Timothy's where uh, uh, if a man don't take care of his house, worse than an infidel. This is a law. So we teach that. But that is a commandment that I must teach other men to do so as well. Here we go. You got it? First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. Then we go back to Timothy 3. I like that. Go ahead. But if any provide not for his own, uh -huh. especially for those of his own house. So if I don't provide for my household, but it also said my own, meaning my people too. So it said if I don't provide for my own, especially those in my house. So that don't mean I just got to take care of my house. It also means my own people. So how do y'all take care of your own people? How do we do so? We all we have jobs. We work. We provide those different things for the people that need. The same way we're going to read in Acts. You know how all the people, they had needs. And some needed differently. Some may need it, needed money and things like that. We will do that for the people that's keeping the commandments. But the ones that don't keep the commandments, we actually are not allowed to do it. Because it's a law in the Bible to not do it. You like Just like. Just like we saw earlier, it was women that was giving homeless people food. Yes. Do you know in the Bible they're not supposed to do that? The ones that are on drugs and not trying to keep the commandments. Do you know that is a law in the Bible? When Jesus came back, Jesus said, oh, he didn't, he didn't dif differentiate between, because I mean. Yes, he did. Because you're in the church. Don't yes, he did no differentiate. Deal. He did not differentiate. He fed the homeless. That's what it keeps saying. Read, you feed the what did, And what did he tell them to do? Let, what did he tell him to do? I'm not even yelling. I'm just talking in the microphone. I'm not even yelling at you. Okay, so I'm not yelling now. Let's go. Y'all want to talk now? She said if we stop yelling, they'll talk. So I'm not yelling now. You know why they don't want to hear the Bible? It's because the Bible tells them to stop sinning. That's right. The Bible says stop sinning. Right. And y'all are making people comfortable in sin. That's what you're doing. You're making people comfortable in sin. You're not even allowed to have blonde hair. You don't even know that that's in the Bible. Go ahead, read where you're at in uh, Timothy's again. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Y'all give me chapter 3. Let's go over the leaders all. Let's read verse 1 because what's happening is you women think you all are pastors over the men and you're not. Right. You're not over the men. Right. God said you're not over the men. So now we're going to read it out of the Bible on who he set up as the bishops and deacons and leaders of the congregation. Right. Go ahead. First Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. Bring it out. This is a true saying. If a man. No, if a woman. If a man. If a man. Desired the office of a bishop. He desired a good work. Now here's the good work. Go ahead. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one.
on work ain't no women out here able to be nobody husband. Right. That's how you know it's talking about men. Right. But we have women walking around wanting to be equal than the man. Bring it so out. then when the scriptures come out, they run. They say, if he stop yelling, I'll listen. Well, we put down the mic. Right. But the Bible says, don't stop yelling. Right. So we tried to appease you briefly so you could, so we could see, and everybody will see, you were lying that you would listen to us whenever we get, when we lower our voices. It doesn't matter. You're not going to listen to the Bible. It does not matter. Right. And all of you brothers and sisters that listen to these women that don't know God, they're going to lead you to hell. Ain't no woman going to respect the black man if, she, if he walking around here begging for her to take his place every darn day. Right. You got to stand up and be a man, bro. You should throw that darn cross that was put in the trash. How you going to take a cross out the trash and put it on your neck and then say you a man of God? Bring it out. You ain't no man of God. Them women will never humble to you. Right. That's why they come out here because you know what they say? Ain't no good men. Why the men won't rise up? Then we show up and they're not used to us. So now they argue with us because they see y'all every day and you're not trying to change. Right. You see you every day and you're not trying to change. Right. So then when we come out here, they don't know what in the world they looking at. Right. When all of us are supposed to be moving like this. Read it again from the top. Now therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Because when you get yourself right, you're supposed to check them like we did. Right. Then there wouldn't be no need for them to come out here and destroy your people even worse and do what the white man want them to do. Because you're going to be out here defending the people, talking about keep that mess over there, you lying sisters. And then guess what? They ain't going to have no choice what to do. You know what? I got to get straight because these men ain't hearing me. No man is listening to me and they taking their women and their sisters off from over here. That's what we supposed to do. We supposed to go out here, get our house in order, and then go and correct our people. Right. Go ahead. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And we comfort our people that are in trouble. But how do we help our people that's in trouble if they don't want to help themselves? Because if our people did, when the Bible come out and they tell you what to do to fix your situation, you would fix it. You would say, you know what? Y'all read out that Bible. I'm going to do it now. Instead, our people say, I don't want to hear that. I'm going to do it my way. Your way got you where you at. That's why all of us in slavery, because we did it our way. We decided to sin and do it our way. Right. So then God says, since you want to do your thing, go in slavery in Charleston. 60% of us come through here now. Now the ones that are still here, we still ain't woke up. Right. And the ones that are woke are trying to teach the ones that ain't woke, and then they argue the Bible. Bring it out. Right. And we trying to comfort you, but we can't comfort you because you don't want comfort. Right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!